Hello everyone, welcome to our Laravel REST API development part 2. In this tutorial, we are going to learn data communication pattern in our entire project. This pattern is actually useful for basic to advanced level project or advanced level API infrastructure. So in that phase, we will use repository pattern, interfacing, trait, so many useful stuff. So let's see our data communication pattern. First, suppose we have an API endpoint like test.com slash API slash products, which will get all of the products of our database. Okay, first we will hit this route. It comes definitely it first comes index.php and then it suppose it comes route. It would come route slash api.php and after it's coming route, it will definitely go to controller whenever it goes goes to controller like we have created a products controller which will handle the products related apis and this controller will actually send some response send some api response like this like uh send send, send, send a json response which has some status message data and error if it's valid then it's some dislike of data like status true data would be array and could be object or anything and errors null if 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 this is false means there's some error it will do trigger like this status false message something went wrong data null error null Mm, errors could be dynamic if this is only a um, only a message then it will come here if it's an array of errors then it will come here okay and in the in the in that time it will use actually response trait which will handle this type of response because we will not make uh, every time same code again and again we will never do that we will obviously follow the dry concept do not repeat yourself we will also don't send controller to direct uh, will send will for connecting database will do all other stuffs in the repository so that it could be uh, reusable to any other places like in repository we will first send a request to repository repository could be app slash repository slash product repository that page okay then it also implements an interface like CRUD interface or any other interface it should it could implement so after coming after getting the data in repository it sends the response back to controller and controller will response it sends api response we will use definitely swagger but we can see data in json the data format would be like this that sounds cool this is a pretty simple architecture and i think this is really useful for um, larger scale application so let's see first thing first let's make a route in uh, so that we can see like let's make a product route go to route slash api.php since we are working with api we will make our routes in here i mean api.php but if we work with ui we can write our routes here but we are not actually work with ui we will actually work with apis okay so will write our APIs in here so let's start let's make a route get route and then we'll create a controller okay product controller and product controller there would be an index method okay so let's create a controller PSP artisan make controller products controller controller be kept plural products controller okay so we will also use a uh, resource okay so i finally uh, i finally to create also resource okay so i've created product controller let's see there will be a file created in app http controller products controller for now we don't make this in api folder or something like that because this is a dedicated api project but if you are uh, working with a normal blade file you can also you can actually create a folder like api then you can place your apis there but we are actually fully fully dedicatedly working with api so it's not necessary to create that api folder that's right okay so import the, this class click here use app slash uh, HTTP slash controller slash product controller. Okay, so use this in top. So this is product 
products controller okay so to the products after clicking on this control or shift click on this you will go to here that's it so we have actually created with the resources here okay so let's just send a dummy return sense and re return an empty array so let's see our api is works working on not slash api slash products okay it actually sends some data you can see by raw data yeah there is an empty array okay you can see also json i have uh, actually uh, installed a json viewer extension you can install that so to see the response like this. that sounds cool and let's uh, send some uh, more data like a uh, message products so let's okay so we have a response products first successfully and we if you can see in raw data we'll see that that object that sounds cool and we will actually use laravel response so let's see just cut this right now return response response and then send with also json Okay, so in that JSON, we'll send the data, status, and some other stuffs. Okay, so we'll send this data. Suppose send this data here. Send this data here. What we'll send? Look in our uh, docs. We have seen status, message, data, errors, some things like that. So first thing, first would be status. Like if we actually get the successful data, we'll send status true, and there, sh there should be a message like this and after that we can get data from specific part like data data co could be array or object or some in anything okay for now this because this is a list of products so this would this would this would be an array and after that if there is any error error happens we will store that in errors and by default it could be null let's keep keep this null okay so this is a basic response this response will trigger if there is no error in our connection or any returns like this but if something if some error happens then it will return like this response status would be false message would be uh, something went wrong definitely there will be a specific message but for now suppose we'll make a default message something would be wrong but definitely we'll give specific message data data could be not data would be null because if that status is false we'll don't send any data and errors could be a empty array or could be array or whatever okay so this is a response basic if this is true this is this will send and otherwise this, will send this. Okay. so let's make an exception try we will write everything in the try catch block so that it can catch any type of exception first send this code here return response and if anything wrong occur it will come here and definitely we will not make a throwable th we will keep exception and also import the, this class at top exception use exception and and in here in message we can actually write e get message okay this is this would be cool because we, then the, our message would be dynamic it should not be static okay so this would be a basic response let's see if it works okay that's great we have getting a successful data like status true message product facts successfully and data is empty array okay that's cool so let's uh, let's trigger an e uh, trigger an exception new exception and uh, suppose something like that we don't need to process so if it uh, triggers an exception it will come here and it will return this so let's see wow so it's status false and that's awesome this is the system we will make our api so suppose uh, this is a get api of products and we will get this type of result so in every part in every API we will actually mix handle something like this but look if we just copy paste these same stuff again and again this is not right right okay okay so to solve this problem we will actually create a trait in app folder new file make this folder at traits slash uh, response trait 
response trade.php okay in inside the trades folder we have actual we have created a file response trade this would be a state like let's start that php and this would be trade so name it trade and response trade okay and definitely use the namespace 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 will be app slash trades okay because this is trades folder okay that's it so in the trades we will actually use a make a function for our uh, success response and error response i mean success response would be response success response on success and let's see and we'll actually send this response from here from there inside the response success we will actually return this okay we'll return this and uh, in here message message definitely it should come from this place right we'll, it should come from this because uh, it should be dynamic right so we'll pass this message by default let's make it successful message success and here let's keep this with message that's this and data definitely will pulse pass also a data data we can pass this at first data and errors if there is any errors we will pass also the errors but for success we will not actually pass any errors because because it's success so it's not actually necessary to send any error here and as you are using php 8 so we can actually use typed definition like json response and json response will import this http illuminate http json response that's it all shift f format format our code base and make a little documentation for that uh, this this would be an array or object or anything and this would be string and that finally is so this is this is cool so this is our success response let's just duplicate copy this it would be error response and make this response error and message e message by default message should be data is invalid or something like that okay and status definitely it would be false and data data uh, would be null by default and and for this we'll pass the errors also and data look data is not necessary here right and for actually uh, in for the data we can pass the errors from that part make this as errors okay data is null message is this status false that's awesome all shift f so for data it would be errors <coughs> this is it this is it so we have made made this trait and let's use this in our controller so in our controller we'll use this trait using use keyword use response trait and definitely look it's auto imported and for keeping the code consistent like this all shift f formatted our code base and now we'll not make things like this okay we'll act we can actually use this response trait how's how we can use look return this if we press this we can see like response look that is to suggested values suggested methods response success wow that's awesome now we can use this first would be data for for now data is empty and second would be uh, we can pass a successful message product product fetched successfully so that's that's it and if it's an error we'll return response of error and so what's in this so in response error first would be errors okay so for now errors look empty errors but there is a message like uh, something went wrong something went wrong okay but if we want to make this something went wrong default we can what we can do we can make make here data is invalid or something went wrong make this here something went wrong if we don't need to any pass additional message we just keep that empty okay that would be actually super cool okay so we don't need this type of data or for the message we can use this definitely 
that's it so look our code base is now, is now neat and clean it's super exciting right so let's see if it works so it would make a success wow that's awesome we have used this response tree perfectly and now anywhere anywhere we need this we can use this very easily like for show for anything we can use this very easily just copy paste this just one line and here in method definitely uh, we'll send the json response so it's better we'll make like this so that that is no unnecessary stuff so we'll occur we'll definitely pass the json response everywhere actually since it's not anything we can actually uh, make that later when we have worked with these methods so th this portion is done next we will come we will make something with the repository we will not get uh, products directly here like uh, in index we can actually get the products like this products equal to product import it it's imported and get we can get actually selected data or oh, no problem for now use this products and make this like this okay so let's see wow let's see we have successfully getting the pr products in our data we have created our first API actually and uh, for products we have uh, inserted a product in our previous lecture using artisan command inside the products that is one product but if we just duplicate this first product second product and other things same and then just reload this then you will see there is two products wow we have actually created our first api for getting all products okay so this is an api you can actually use this api at at any front end application okay so that's cool but what if we need we several times need this data actually uh, this is now simple but we will not make this simple we can make any search system here like uh, in products we will li make like search equal to uh, first and page equal to two page we will use also pagination we will name this kind of data will you handle this in here no never will definitely handle this type of data which will work with model in a repository so let's create a repository inside the app folder create a new folder co called repositories repositories and inside that create a file called product repository.php okay product repository so our, so our class will be class name will be product repository okay so let's make this so this, this would be a normal class in php and uh, add our namespace namespace would be app slash repositories okay that's it so this is our product repository and inside that repository we will actually uh, get all for getting all products okay and what would be that that would be uh, actually this return product get all, all right all shift f and it will format it and Im let's import the product also okay so we have created a product repository and there is a method of get all and we'll actually inject this class this repository in our controller okay or we can we can write like do this like a uh, product repository equal to new product repository product repository it's auto imported here new product repository and then rather doing this line we can actually make this delete this and can make it in here product repository get all that's it so we can make th that in one line <coughs> so product repository get all and if you see it will make the same result yeah this is the same so we have actually created a repository but look a, a, is this good every time in every method we will just make this line duplicate 
no no it doesn't make sense in laravel gives us a very good way of dependency injection let's make this with dependency injection in construct so that pause this product repository here product repository repeat product repository and also click create a variable called public product repository okay so create a variable to pub product repository and this product repository will be the product repository we have used laravel most com com common feature or dependency injection here that's super exciting so we can now we don't need to create this product repository instance every time in every method it's not necessary that's not necessary right now so how what you can do we can now this product repository get a oh, look there is also some proper suggestion here that is awesome right we have used dependency injection to inject our repository in the controller and definitely this is not necessary right we don't handle model in here we will only work with repository here okay we will handle model in the repository part look there if there is any issue or not nope our apis is as it is and uh, we have a, also a several problem like uh, we have a product we have we can have tasks we can have uh, categories uh, all, all other stuffs in many parts need some crude operation right a uh, create read update this type of operation and every time we have to create this get all or or for getting single data like uh, we need find by ID or something like that and then product find and pass the ID here int of ID product find ID like this and we have to create in every repository which have which has some crud okay so this is a problem we don't repeat our code so how we can um, fix this so that someone cannot make some tiny mistakes we can actually create an interface for this and we would implement that interface then we must have to implement this method this method so some junior level developer cannot make any mistake then so let's create that interface okay so inside the app folder create a new folder called interfaces we can have many interfaces right for now we will actually use one interface like create an interface called crud interface crud interface dot php okay this will actually a simple interface php and as it is interface it start would be interface and then would be its name crud interface then all shift f it will format and inside that we will use the methods declared here like get all or something like that okay so this would be public function get all get all get all method and since it's interface we don't write any php code here we, we don't we we'll just write only the declaration we don't write the definition of those method right as it's the interface okay and in our product repository we will not actually use the get data here because if we have like 1 million product can we get all the product it's not good it would be very very bad definitely we will use paginate method of laravel paginate will uh, send us a paginated data like paginate 10 that means it will send 10 paginated data right okay so get all get all uh, will actually return a paginator, um, paginator and it return type would be paginator it's in here uh, contract slash paginator okay so let's finish this okay so this is a get all method and first implement one or um, make a uh, make second like a uh, public function get by id and inside that we will definitely pass an id id and that would return an object actually object or null it 
could return object or null okay get by id what you will do now would now implement this CRUD interface in our product repository okay so let's implement it in here implements CRUD interface also import this at top use interface use CRUD interface uh, maybe we have um, ah we don't give the namespace okay that's it namespace app slash interfaces interfaces that's it so now it would be not directly here let's click again and it's auto imported app slash interfaces current wow that's cool now look there we have created we have seen the error like method app product repository get all is not compatible with method get all because this this method would, would return a paginated paginated data but we're not giving that it's the it has no return type so that's awesome so we must have to make this paginator paginator okay so if we save this then it's awesome it's works and and also there is this method doesn't also satisfy that okay so we must have to implement get by id and find by id would be replaced by get by id okay that's error comes here and this would actually return a product okay and product definitely also an object so it uh, comes there okay all shift f and format that's awesome so let's see if our stuff works as as expected or not oh, wow so it's works uh, it works as expected also as we have used paginated data there is some paginated stuff here this is super exciting so so this this is our basic setup we'll actually work prad interface in our next chapter because uh, this uh, this lecture is dedicatedly for this pattern making so i hope so you have get a good understanding how we can make a big scalable architecture in laravel it's super simple and super exciting and please subscribe my channel like the video and um, make a comment if you have faced any problem Ta -ta.